from Raggedy Bits. Welcome back to day four of our five chair challenge. Um, as you can see, there's the three chairs behind me uh, that we've done so far using different techniques. The first one was the marbling using an IOD stamp. Uh, sorry, the first one was actually the, uh, the paper uh, transfer decoupage using Fusion Ultra Grip. And the second one was the marble uh, uh, chair. And then the third one so far is the stencil um, with a little bit of antiquing to give it a nice aged look. This one today is filthy dirty, so you know the drill. We're going to start off by uh, just using a little bit of Fusion TSP, and then we're going to apply an awesome IOD transfer. tutorials it's really vitally important that you uh, give your, your furniture or whatever you're working on a really good clean because you want to make sure that the paint's got the best chance to adhere to your piece so this is pretty filthy so this is going to take me a little bit but <clears throat> it'll be all worth it in the end This has got quite a, a high gloss on it. I'm going to have to hit this with the sand sander and I'm going to uh, use 80 grit sandpaper. Um, so I'm going to go outside and do that now and then we'll come back and we can start painting. Okay, it's been given a nice a once over with my sander and 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to wipe it down just to make sure there's no residue uh, left from sanding and then um, we'll get busy painting. Today I'm going to be using Fusion Coal Black and I'm just going to completely cover the whole chair uh, in the black. Um, I'll probably give it two coats, uh, letting each coat dry in between. Fusion Coal Black, uh, completely dry, and I'm now going to get the, the uh, decor transfer ready uh, to apply to the to the chair. So when you get your your transfer, it comes in two sheets. So you've got the the top part, which has got the transfer on it, and the backing sheet, um, uh, which sits behind uh, the decor transfer. Fur. And this is designed to stop. It from sticking to things uh, when you're trying, uh, like when you're cutting things out or placing, um, and avoid you know sort of tearing the transfer. So I'm just going to figure out which one I'm going to use, and it'll probably be this. This uh, transfer comes with four um, roses on it, uh, like a bunch of roses, which is awesome. So that means that you could essentially get four projects out of one sheet. Um, yes, I think I'll go with that one. So you can cut them out as long as you, you don't sort of... Um, Cut through the other designs, obviously. So just so I've cut out essentially that part of the transfer, which I'm hoping to sort of have going on to the chair with the stalk going down the leg. 
we'll play around as we go because um, you know sometimes you can have a have a thought in your head and it doesn't quite work out or you end up going some in another direction. So in your little in your little kit comes a little plastic. Uh, it's like a scraper, and these are designed to help you apply the transfer onto your uh, piece without too much trouble. Okay, so just using the same technique as what I did with the marble marbling effect, the faux marble on top of that other chair that we did in project number two. Um, I'm just I've just popped out some raw silk and some fusion clear glaze, and this is going to keep the paint open for me so that I can do a little bit of stamping before we apply the transfer, just to add that little bit of depth okay so once that's all mixed in just grabbing my brayer i'm going to pull out a bit of the paint being really careful that i don't get it on the chair that would be bad And then taking kindness for the IOD kindness regards stamp. I'm just going to load it up. I'm not going to use the whole entire stamp. I just might use one side actually. And then just taking a wet wipe. Um, I'm just going to go around where I've accidentally put a bit of paint onto the stamp. And then that way it's not going to end up on the chair. Okay. So now that I've loaded my stamp up, I'm just going to, I've got this on a piece of um, transfer film as well. I'm just going to visualize where I want the script to go. I'm thinking over in this corner and I'm just dropping and just gently running my fingers over the top of it because I don't want it too heavy. So I don't know if you can see that. Just a really faint um, sort of script. Now I need to let that dry before I start doing um, the decor transfer. So I lie now. Um, what I'm going to do is now start to apply the transfer. So always keeping the back piece on until you're ready to actually uh, start applying the transfer. Just lay it down so you can sort of get a visual idea of how you want the transfer to go. I may not even have that going down the leg. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm pretty happy with that placement. So what I'm going to do is just gently lift out the backing paper. Once you're happy with where the placement of the transfer is, just taking this awesome little tool that comes with your transfer, I'm just going to start now applying pressure. I'm just rubbing my hand gently over the design just to make sure that um, there's no little bits that are sticking up and that everything's sucked down safe and secure. You just want to be gentle as you're doing it. It's sort of a bit like burnishing, I guess. Here, um, what I'm going to do 
And so there's a little bit that I, I took off the side here um, and, in, and I wanted to sort of like have it so that it was, there were some leaves there as well coming down the, the leg of the chair. So I'll probably do it about there, I'd say. going to add a little bit more of the Kindest Regard stamp. For wax, I've actually decided that I'm just going to lightly distress the transfer and also the script that's on there um, just to give it more of a sort of a vintage look. Um, so I'm just using 120 grit sandpaper and you just lightly go over the top of the transfer. Once you've opened up the pores to the paint, you always must put a seal or back onto it. So I'm just going to use the clear wax. And these chairs will be getting used in my workshop, so they'll be getting used quite a fair bit. Um, and I'm just, like I've got a one chair that I've got painted here that I did a while ago, um, and that's just waxed. And I'm really happy with how the wear and tear is taking on, um, it, it's frequently being used. So just using Fusion Clear Wax, I'm going straight over the top. of the design. Oops. And I will end up adding the wax to the rest of the chair just to, for that added protection because as um, for those who have not used Fusion before, it's got a built-in top coat. Um, but I just, or you know, things like chairs and that, I just also like to put on an extra bit of protection and I love the way the wax feels. It's soft and it just adds a little bit of a sheen um, and makes the colours pop. So that's another chair completed and ticked off our list. We've only got one more to go and I'll be back tomorrow to share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to apply a transfer to a chair and give it a little bit of added uh, character with the stamping. I'll be sure to leave the links below with all the products that I've, I've used today, along with a link to the, prof uh, sorry, to the blog post. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.